This is the first in a planned series of tutorials on using taxon work, starting from very you know basic uh, concepts and, and principles. So we're going to start from the beginning and uh, put together a series of these. The idea is that they'll be about 15 to 20 minutes long, each of them. So there are uh, two versions of uh, taxon works. There's a production version, and there's the uh, the URL for it. And uh, this is the permanent ongoing scientific record. So any changes that you make, any data that you add, or any data that you modify in the production version is going to stay there. And then there's a sandbox version. There's the URL for that. And uh, that's not a permanent scientific record. So that, that's for learning the system, practicing on things, trying things out, uh, et cetera, et cetera. The uh, browsers that are supported by TaxonWorks are Chrome or Firefox, period, one or the other. OK. When you log into TaxonWorks, this is the opening screen. And uh, there, there are probably 30 or 40, maybe more different projects that are using uh, the TaxonWorks platform these days. Uh, I'm a member of, uh, of three of them. Uh, the primary one being the Universal Chalcedoidia database, uh, which was a database that John Noyes in uh, London put together over his entire career, and uh, which we now have ported to, to TaxonWorks. So this is the it, when you when you when you when you uh, log into your project. This is the first uh, screen that you see. One thing is that if you hit either this icon up in the left uh, top left of the screen or uh, the project name, it takes you back to the to the home page. Now, the first thing is that Taxon Works is is organized by tasks, and uh, these these cards here represent different tasks. And this allows you to, to do things. It allows you to add data or edit data. And uh, the other cards on the left here are uh, data cards. And uh, these are the actual data tables for like taxon names. Uh, there's one for people. Uh, there's one for uh, repositories, collections, uh, et cetera. Now, uh, you can... It, 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 <clears throat> If, if we go to the to the tasks here, you see there's quite a lot of them, and uh, but you can filter them over here. You can look at uh, tasks that are just associated with nomenclature, for example, or just associated with sources. Uh, and you see any of these that where the little gold star is is lit up. You click on that, then that's going to end up in my favorites. Here are the data files. There's quite a lot of them. OK, and you can see that I've 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 starred, you know, put the ones that I use all the time in my uh, favorites. In order to uh, make uh, the favorite that when you when you go into taxon works that the that only your favorite uh, uh, cards will uh, come up. It's a it's a little bit obscure. You, you, you go to account in the top right here. Then dashboard in the middle of the screen, and you order the hub tabs. Order hub tabs here on the right. Okay, so I've got, so you can put these in any order you want. I've got favorites on the left because that's usually what you wanna see when you, when you log in. Okay. The next thing that's important about taxon works is that there's a very basic distinction between taxonomic names, taxon names, and operational taxonomic units, or uh, uh, the, for short, OTUs. That's a bit of uh, systematic jargon that actually goes back to the phonetics era. Uh, but, a, but an OTU is sort of a concept of a taxon. Uh, if we look at a taxon name, easy way to do this is to use the browse nomenclature card. I'll go back and do it again. 
browse nomenclature card. It opens up this search screen and there's a smart search field here. And I'll just type in a little bit of a, of a name and uh, that, that brings up, uh, that'll, that'll take us to a, a taxonomic name. So here uh, at the basic level, first of all, on the left, you see a, 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 taxon a, a, a taxonomic hierarchy. Uh, this, this, this species is in the genus Signifera, which is in the family Signiforidae, which is in the superfamily Chalcedoidea, uh, et cetera. Here is a, a history of, of, of usage of the name and uh, all of its synonyms. There's quite a lot of synonyms for this, for this particular one. Uh, if you want to get a little bit more information about these, you can click on the eyeball here and then say if you see the origin, uh, th these are where these names uh, came from. So a protonym is essentially the first usage of a name in the literature. And then this was a subsequent combination. Uh, Thysanus flavus was now put into uh, the genus Signifera, et cetera. We'll go over more of this in the subsequent uh, tutorial. So those are taxonomic names. The other basic distinction is uh, OTUs. And sometimes you'll hear Matt or uh, Dimitri talk about taxon space, which is, has to do with the history of names, and then OTU space, which has to do with all the other information associated with OTUs. So if we look at the same OTU associated with this species, so this was associated with Signifera flavella, we get all this information. Here's a bunch of citations, some of which are taxonomic, some, are, some of which uh, you know, could, could be anything. Most of this looks like it's taxonomic, but these could be you know, usage of a species and uh, biological control, um, any number of things. Here's a bunch of references in which the name has been used. And then very quickly, we'll look at this in more detail. Uh, here are uh, a bunch of asserted distributions, uh, places for this species have been recorded from, uh, host information. Uh, these are chalcidoids, so a primary host is an, is an insect you know, that this thing parasitizes. So that's OTU space, very important. Now, there's, there's a uh, Taxon Works makes extensive use of icons, and uh, uh, an important one here uh, allows you to toggle back and forth between uh, taxon space and OTU space. So we're in OTU space now, but notice this little uh, sort of hexagon with an arrow in it at the in the, in the top left. If and, and you mouse over it, it says browse nomenclature. So if I hit that, then I go to the nomenclature screen and there's a corresponding icon here uh, for, to go back to OTU space. So it's very easy to jump back and forth between, between the two. So the next thing I wanna cover, not in any detail, but just to introduce it uh, this morning are uh, sources. And uh, we're gonna have the next tutorial is gonna be all about uh, sources, importing sources, uh, searching through them, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, today I just wanna, in this first tutorial, just introduce it very, very briefly. So uh, one of my favorite cards is called the Source Hub. And you see it's down here at the bottom. And if we go to this, there's a smart, another smart search field here. And I can put in just a, a, a brief, uh, abbreviations for author and title. And uh, so it, it pulls up four papers and, and this is the one I want, uh, a paper that I published with Anna Dalmoline in 2017. And uh, so here's the information about where it was published, though, taxa, et cetera, et cetera. You can download a PDF here, or you can hit this PDF icon and it opens up a PDF reader. It's okay, it's, it's, uh, it's maybe not the greatest, but if you just need to look for one or two things, it, it works just fine. 
if if you need to work extensively with the paper, I usually download it and have it on my on my desktop. The other thing that you can do is is put a source in your pin board. Now the pin board is over here on the right. It, you see these four a little uh, uh, icons on the right hand side of the screen here, the PDF document viewer that we just looked at, and then the pin board. And this is a place of this is a place for putting things that you're going to be using a lot, or if you're going to be working with a source, say curating the information out of a paper, you want to have that in 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 the pin board. And, I'll and so to do that, notice that we're on the, the, the screen here for the source, there's a little uh, green pinboard icon up there. So if we hit that, it turns red. Now, again, in the, the convention in Taxon works is that if an icon is green, it's going to add something. If an icon is red, it's going to remove it. So we've added it. And by default, it's now the, 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 the default source in, in my pinboard. This is extremely useful uh, because every time if I'm, if I'm going through different, different tasks, every time it needs a source, I can just hit the the pin board icon and it, and it just pastes all that information in there. I don't I don't have to retype it. You can put other things in the pin board like images, keywords, and and and, and so forth. We're going to have more to say about uh, sources and keywords in the next uh, tutorial. So there's just two more things I want to show you in the in this in this tutorial. We'll go back to the browse nomenclature screen, and there's a bunch of icons up at the up at the top here. If you mouse over them, it will tell you what they are. So th th this uh, is a radial annotator, and these are you find these throughout a taxon works. They're they're places for common tasks associated uh, with a particular card or particular screen are, are aggregated. A, an edit icon is, is, is always green with a pencil in it. And that takes you to a, to a uh, well, I guess because we're not looking at a name, it can't be edited. Sorry about that. Go back to a species. If I hit the edit icon, the little green pencil on the upper right, we it sort of goes to a deeper level. Now here, uh, there's information on uh, you know where the 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 uh, the species was described, who described it, uh, etc. The original combination rank, all kinds of other stuff. So that's the edit icon. And then there's a navigate radial, which just has a bunch of other uh, other tasks uh, associated with it. We're going to uh, move back to the uh, OTU corresponding to Signifera flavella now, which again, this is all the sort of information uh, in the literature uh, associated with this species concept. And a couple of very, so there's a radial annotator here. It's called an OTU annotator, and it's it's a place where you can add citations. You know, a new paper that mentions this name, and then, oops, here we are back in OTU space again. Uh, one more uh, common icon uh, is is called Quick Forms, and again, this is just another aggregator of uh, forms that are useful uh, you know, in particular places like browsing uh, OTU space. And so we'll just take a quick look at that. So here's a place where you can add new host records, which are called biological associations or asserted distributions.